Well, some valuable and fragile instruments had to be carefully moved through downtown Minneapolis today. The Claire Givens violin shop is being forced out of its longtime location. The building, where at least space for decades, will soon be demolished to make way for an apartment tower at 10th and Marquette. And as Mike Binkley reports, the delicate moving process is now underway. Downtown drivers didn't know it, but passing right by them in little black wagons were high priced instruments. Instruments that the owner of Claire Givens Violins didn't trust to anyone else. We told the movers to stay home today, and the restorers in our workshop have engineered this entire move. We are hand carrying everything down the stairs and we're wheeling it down the street to its new home. Givens and its large shop provide services to many of the violin, viola, and cello players from the Minnesota Orchestra and St. Paul Chamber Orchestra. They're in cases and they're bagged up and, and uh, we're trying to protect them as much as possible. In their inventory for sale are instruments ranging from a few hundred dollars to $150,000. Are you kind of holding your breath as all this is happening? No, oh, it's just driving me crazy how much care we have to take because of the precious quality of our inventory. The business has been in the old Handicraft Guild building for 34 years. I love this arch window here. It has some historic significance, but its drafty windows and ceiling problems weren't ideal for the type of work they do. Our workshop will be in here. The company's new location is just a block away. With more space, climate control, and security, the owner could breathe easier as everything arrived. I think they're just beautiful. The whole place came alive as soon as we put those violas here at the end of the day. Given's husband, Andrew Dipper, has his own violin restoration and bow making business going into the same new space. The building at 10th and Marquette will come down early next year.